Hey guys, Comic Book Steve here again with another haul. Uh, this one's a pretty, pretty large one actually. Um, so I've got some new releases here. I got some books off of my comic shop with some of my credit that I had stored up. Uh, and New England Comics is doing another 50% off sale. Yep. Uh, and so I stopped at one of the locations that I go to usually. Uh, and then there was also Free Comic Book Day today and the New England Comics location in Harvard um, is doing all their all their all their back issue bins are one dollar now, and now don't get too excited. This is a you know the the back issue bins there were mostly uh, some some Bronze Age, very little, uh, and then mostly books from the past ten years or uh, fifteen years maybe. Uh, but still, it was really cool. I thought, you know I usually go in there for the fifty percent off sale, but then they had everything for a dollar so. Uh, I had some fun digging through those, picking out some books, so uh, yeah, let's get into it. I think my phone's only got like 20% battery, so we'll see if we can knock these all out in a timely manner. Uh, also, if you haven't seen Civil War, I got these, well, I got the Spider-Man guys hanging out there from, from Civil War uh, in honor of the movie, even though, you know, those costumes aren't in the movie. Um, but it's it it a really awesome movie. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'm not going to do a review on it, but uh, I, I freaking loved it. It's my second favorite Marvel movie right now, uh, currently. You know, I need to let it sink in a bit and see it again. Uh, Alright, so free comic book day. What did I get? I got Civil War 2. Um, I don't like the story. Um, this is, you know, this is falling into the... the knocking down the phone again. I like to do that. Uh, this is falling into that territory of uh, Bendis' work that I don't like, and I feel like his characterization is not anywhere near on par. Um, his characterization tends to he has a bad habit of giving everyone the same snarky voice, um, and it's really annoying when they say the same jokes. If you turn off the lights or had like blank pages um, and just the word bubbles, you wouldn't know who the hell is talking sometimes with the way he writes. Uh, it's really frustrating. Uh, it's a really hard thing for writers to do, so I get it, but... Um, I just, I just can't stand it in his writing where everyone's just has the same quips and same, uh, same dialogue that he has in a lot of other, his other books. Um, this was no different. And Thanos, I thought was totally out of character. I mean, if you read Infinity and Secret Wars and then read this, it's like a, it's like a, it's a mockery. I feel. I was like, who the hell is this guy? Um, so I'll be cautiously uh, observing Civil War too, but. Not sure I'll pick it up day one. Wait to see some of the reviews. Don't like how uh, some of the characters in there. Um, well, I'm not gonna spoil it. Uh, anyway, so I also got Batman Superman 32. Um, I didn't get this on new release day. I got this a couple of days later. Uh, I saw it on the shelf. I was like, fine. I will buy into the hype and try this out. Um, I think it's cooled down a bit on eBay. It was going for like 30 like release day. I think it's probably like fifteen ten maybe. Um I don't plan on selling it right away unless I still see it going for thirty. Uh I'll sit on it for a while and see what happens. Uh, I'm not planning on holding on to this one. The, the, really the only reason I got it was to for speculation, honestly. I mean there's so many articles about it. Um and I and I saw it after release day, so I figured I'd give it a shot. Uh, Spider Woman number six. Only got that for the Spider Spider Women uh, crossover. Uh, J. Scott Campbell variant cover. Not a low ratio variant. Um, not one of his better works. So I don't really see this taking off like his other books. But uh, I had the other pieces, so I figured I'd just finish it off. Standoff Omega One. Uh, this one is not bad. I, did, I skipped all the. The Italian parts, I just got the bookends. Um, this one's weird because it's like a, a defect copy where it has like two covers. I don't know if that actually makes the book worth more. Uh, doesn't really matter, but if anyone knows, uh, let me know. Um, I know sometimes with toys that makes things more valuable, but I don't know how that ever, I don't know if that's worked with comics the same. Uh, the story is pretty good. It's got a new Quasar in it, so if you're interested in that for speculation, check that out. Not the character's first appearance, but it's her first appearance as Quasar. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 11. 
pretty good story. I'm still on board with this uh, storyline. Uh, looking forward to Dead No More. See how that works out. The other one I got from Free Comic Day, the shop I went to only allowed two per person. Two for <coughs> Sorry. Two free books. Uh, so I got Cap and Civil War. Uh, Cap this one was pretty good. I, I like Spencer. I might even try to pick up the first arc of this new Captain America book. The Steve Rogers one. And uh, then it has a backup for uh, Dead No More. Which was interesting. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I'm... I am, I am interested in it. I don't know how I feel about the ending, the, re the reveal. Uh, I I don't buy it for a second, but you never know. We'll see. Uh, then this week I got a bunch of those Age of Apocalypse or Horseman of Apocalypse covers, Spider Gwen, which is honestly not one of my favorite ones, um, but. I, I was going to get spider going anyway, so I figured if I was going to get the book, I might as well get the variant. Uh, Punisher. This one, I wasn't planning on getting this book, and I don't plan on getting any other ones after this. Uh, but I, I really like this, uh, this Punisher Horseman uh, design. Uh, the Black Widow one. I've been picking up this book, so I decided to just pick up this variant. Uh, this, this, is, this issue wasn't as good as the other ones, but it's still really solid. Um, it'd be cool to see them. So far it seems really cool and I'd, I'd like to see them, uh, if it pays off, I'd like to see them adapted into a, a Black Widow standalone. I think that'd be pretty neat. Uh, this is the one that I was desperately hoping I could find at the shop I went to. They only have one copy left so I'm super glad that I was able to get there. Um, this is the you know Amazing Spider-Man 12, the Horseman of Apocalypse variant, which doesn't have the the Horseman blurb on it, which I guess is good. I mean, that art on there is, is, is amazing, so I'm glad they didn't put that bubble on there to, uh, you know, distract you. But it's a, it's a really cool design. Glad it wasn't one of, like, the high-ratio variants that, uh, like, $25, 30 It was, must have been low-ratio because it was cover price. But glad to have that. Story's still pretty good. Uh, Spider-Man 2099. I'm back on this book for a little while, because uh, it has Venom 2099 coming back. Haven't seen that guy in years, so I'll stick with this to see what um, what he's doing and how the story goes. Uh, now we're getting into, uh, I'm not sure what percentage I have in battery, but hopefully it doesn't die. Uh, these are the My Comic Shop books. Uh, so I got Revolutionary War, Death's Head. Number one, I assume. I, I think it's a one shot. Uh, just a modern version of uh, the original Death's Head, um, or at least like a more recent uh, book with him in it, since he does not used very often. But I thought this would be cool to have. I, I missed out on this storyline. Um, don't plan on picking up the rest, but I just wanted to get it for the original Death's Head appearance. Captain America 25, the second print variant. Uh, yeah, Death of Captain America, Civil War is coming out, so I'd like to get the first print. Um, this one was really cheap, so I picked this up. Wasn't even aware they had a second print. Uh, Spider-Man Adventures number one, the unenhanced variant, or unenhanced version, not really a variant. Uh, this was the series that came out in the 90s to coincide with the 90s animated series. Um, yeah, that's about it. Spider-Man Saga. Uh, so this was a free book just to give a preview of Spider-Man or give like a give readers an up to date like what he's doing and like it's probably coinciding with a new arc that started. Uh, the only reason I got this was because of the J. Scott Campbell cover. Uh, it was really cheap, but this cover this that image is also on a big time variant um, that goes for quite a bit. So uh, you never know. I don't expect this to go for like hundred hundreds of dollars like that other one, but. Uh, it's still cool that uh, you can get something in print with this cover on it. Marvel Knights Spider-Man 19. Uh, this was one of the ones I was missing from the uh, Mike Minergo variants that went around this time. Um, they used to be about 10, 15, but in recent years I, I see them for like 3, 4, 5, uh, which is nice for me, but uh, I'm surprised. Maybe I was just imagining things that... They were like $10 books at one time, but 
Uh, I'm glad to grab them. Um, I do wish, I, I love Mike Winerga, uh, I love his art, but these covers, um, even though I like that they did all the costumes, or a lot of them, uh, I don't like that his proportions make him look like a kid. Uh, it's really, he looks like he has really short limbs and short feet. Uh, so I think that kind of, that almost ruins it for me, but um, I do love these costumes, so I had to get them. Web of Spider-Man 117, the unenhanced variant. This is the beginning of the new Clone Saga, or the 90s Clone Saga. Uh, I have the enhanced version, didn't have this one, so I thought I'd pick that up. And then one of the other Mike Winergo variants that I was missing, the Cosmic Spider-Man one from, what was that, Friendly Neighborhood 3? Uh, so I think I have all these now, except for the Spider-Ham one in the last part in Amazing, I think. So I'll have to look for that, but it's cool to, it's cool to grab them all finally. Uh, some of these other ones are uh, back issue books. Uh, this one I got off eBay. This is Amazing Spider-Man Extra number three. Uh, this is actually kind of a speculation book. So there was a female cast as uh, a character in the new Spider-Man movie coming out next year. Uh, she said in an interview her name is Mich her name's gonna be Michelle or her character's name's gonna be Michelle. Uh, so the only character whose name is Michelle, unless it's a new character they're making for the movie, the only in lore that I know of or I can find, um, or in Spider Man, you know, comics, the only character named Michelle was Michelle Gonzalez, which was like the daughter I don't know, sister of a police officer that Spider Man was living with. Uh, they dated for a little bit. Um they kind of had a lot of bickering back and forth. It didn't last very long. It was in the early, early uh, brand new day era. Um, I don't see this one taking off a lot. This was her first appearance in the books. I, I you know, this character in the comics was like twenty something. Um, I can't see them, you know, adapting it one for one in the movie. But uh, still, you know, it's a cheap book right now, so uh, it's cheap. Uh, it's a cheap loss if. Uh, you know, you, you buy into it, but uh, it's a Spider-Man book, so for me it's a win-win. I, I got a new Spider-Man book, and uh, you know, if it takes off, then I have a a good first appearance. Uh, Spectacular Spider-Man 247, uh, really cool jack-o'-lantern issue. Uh, I already had it, forgot I had it, um, but it was cheap, it was like in a dollar bin, so grab that. Uh, I think some of these are on a 50% off sale, and uh, th this one wasn't five dollars, but I just replaced it with a better plastic sleeve while I had to go buy some new ones. Uh, I just got this for the the armor that appears in it. I thought this was a, this was the first appearance of the armor. I think it's actually this issue before, but this is the cover, the first time it appears on the cover. Um, I really love this armor, and I want to I want to read this arc to find out uh, more about what this armor does. But um, I just love how it's so. You could tell it's Iron Man, but it's so different from any of his other uh, armors. Uh, so I thought that was really cool. Uh, I'd love to see them adapt this into the movies in some form. Iron Man 14. Uh, this is a really awesome and, and timely uh, Eddie Granov cover. It's not a variant. Uh, it was part of the Civil War tie-ins for Iron Man. Back when the series, this was before the movies. So uh, the series, even though it was a Civil War tie-in, uh, it was still really low um, ordered. Uh, it's a it's a really great cover. I mean that's 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 one of my favorite Eddie Granoff covers right there. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty hot. Uh, it's not like an it's not the market hasn't dived into it, um, but I, I saw it in a dollar bin, so I snatched it up. Uh, it's in really nice condition, so I couldn't couldn't say no. If it doesn't go anywhere, I got a really nice cover. If it does it's even better, but um, I couldn't pass it up. Eddie Granoff is like one of those kind of heart artist right now, uh, cover artist sometimes, but, you know, it depends. Same like J. Scott Campbell, not all, not everything he touches turns to gold, it has to be, like, the right characters and the right kind of cover, and sometimes even if it's a low ratio variant. Uh, then this one was pretty cheap, I think it was like two bucks after the sale. Uh, Punisher 11, the first Fracking Castle, I've been looking for that for a while, um, so I was glad to find it for cheap. Uh, this one's kind of, uh, I just got this mostly for speculation. Um, Cloak and Dagger, number one, from Spider Island. Uh, this is probably, I would imagine this is probably one of the lower ordered uh, 
Spider Island tie-ins. Um, Cloak and Dagger is going to be getting like a TV show, or at least you know they're in talks in planning to do a TV show. I'm not sure what phase they're in, but um, I would I would bet that this is one of the lower ordered, uh, not only Spider Island but Cloak and Dagger number ones that there are out there. Uh, so I picked it up just in case. You know, it's it's not my Nick Spencer too, so that that peaked piqued my interest as well. Um, I just felt that, you know, uh, it could, um, it could be a good read, you know. Sorry, I got this, uh, little battery warning on my phone that I need to dismiss. Alright, you know, I have a hard time getting back into shape here. Alright, there we go. Uh, I grabbed this guy too. This one was like two bucks less than that. Um, this is the one of the covers for the first time Bucky. Uh, uh, is, it goes by Cap or it gets in the Cap suit. Um, I think this is that's a steal. I mean, I think this is way way undervalued right now. Uh, if you see it, you should get it. Honestly, I mean, there's three covers to this. There's like a, there's like a, this cover, the Alex Ross cover, and the um, uh, the second, no, the director's cut, kind of second print cover, um, but, I mean, they're all really cheap, uh, I've got them, I, I got them all for, like, under three bucks, um, recently, um, the director's cut is coming in the mail, but this one, I was really surprised to find this one for, like, two bucks, I mean, it was after the sale, so it was, like, four or something, four, yeah, I don't remember exactly, but it was really cheap, and I was really surprised, so, I don't know if I'll do this in the movies, but it's still... A pretty awesome uh, run and a pretty awesome milestone got this for a buck uh, this is another awesome one of my favorite covers of all time um, Eddie Granov did this it's a second print of friendly neighborhood 17 uh, it was sitting there in the dollar bin uh, so I had to grab it even though I already have a much nicer copy this one's got a few dings on the if you like spine ticks that are kind of annoying um, and on the top there's some little bit of dinging up there but um overall it's pretty good uh so thought i'd snatch that up web of spider-man 125 another dollar bin book uh have the unenhanced variant or version um this one i just wanted to get the want the hologram on it as well uh it's still not super great hologram but it's better than the uh those 30th anniversary ones they did Amazing Spider-Man number 657, second print. I didn't realize that was one of the ones I was missing. A lot of these next ones are going to be just Spider-Man gap fill-ins. I'll oh, we'll just pump these out. Amazing 633. Amazing 615. Amazing 603. Uh, amazing 551, which I thought I had. That's a good thing I had my book with me. Uh, amazing 548. None of these were more than like two bucks, if that. Amazing 506. Amazing 507. 518. And I did get some old ones, but not like crazy old. These were like four each. Amazing 183, the first appearance of Big Wheel. You know, maybe they'll use him in the movie, right? I mean, they could, they could adapt that. That could be cool, right? Uh, amazing 148, one, one of the parts of the original Clone Saga, so I thought that was kind of fun to get for a good price. It's a okay copy, not like high grade, well, maybe it's high grade, I don't know. It's not low grade, it's not like near mint or very fine, it's probably like a fine minus fine or something like that. But uh, it's cool to have, same with the big wheel. Uh, now the rest of these are all the ones I got today during Free Comic Book Day from the the newly minted dollar bins that used to be just back issue bins. I mean, it's kind of crazy how they just like marked. It's just like everything's a dollar, uh, and some of it's been picked through. But I still managed to find some some fun stuff in there that uh, either I've been looking for or, or you know I'd be glad to find for cheap. Uh, Astonishing Spider-Man Wolverine, a highly printed book, but um, I couldn't pass it up for a book. Uh, Nova, number 28, part of the Black Vortex. Uh, not a fan of Nova. Um, 
I thought the Black Vortex storyline was pretty cool. I only really got this one because it was one of the lower ordered Black Vortex installments. Uh, so I just thought I'd give it a shot, see what see what happens with it. I don't. This isn't one that I plan on holding on to, uh, or maybe I'll sit on it for a while. Guardians of the Galaxy 15, the second print. Uh, this is when Captain Marvel joins the team. Even though, even though the cover, I'm not sure if this. If she ever joins the Guardians and this book takes off, I'm not sure how the market would uh would feel for it because even though the cover says she joins the team, uh she doesn't she doesn't actually appear in this book at all. She doesn't join the team until the next issue. It's really annoying, but um, I picked it up anyway. I figured for a buck, yeah, can't go wrong. Uh, Superior Spider Man twenty three, uh, amazing. 647, Amazing 604, Amazing Annual 39, Amazing 24, uh, the Incredible Hulk 8 variant uh, from the Spider-Man 50 year variant. Uh, uh, this one was a buck, you know, it was just hanging out in the, their back issue bins again that were all listed as a dollar, so but that was really cool. Um, don't know what the price of this goes for. Uh, I just thought the cover was pretty awesome. So, uh, Ed McGinnis cover. It's got all the movie Avengers in it, including Spider Man. So, that's really timely and it looks freaking awesome. So, I can't, can't wait to see that, that image uh, in the movies with all those characters coming at you. Secret Avengers 33. Uh, Again, I thought this was the first appearance of this character. Turns out that it's not, at least by the previously in portion in the beginning shows his uh his picture. So, I guess that means he appeared in the issue before this. But um, this is what, what I, did I say it right? This is the red ant or black ant? Black ant. I think it's black ant. Um, I think this is the irredeemable Ant Man. I'm not 100% on that, but this is a it's a villain Ant Man. Uh. Who knows? Maybe they'll do something with him in the movie. Either way, it's a awesome Art Adams cover, and uh, cheap is good. Amazing five eighty one. Amazing five uh, or six sixty five. Six forty three. Uh, then these last two are kind of ending on a whimper here. Uh, these two are dupes. Six sixty three. I didn't realize all the the light was on that one. Uh, lots of shimmer going on, and 6.44. So that kind of sucks. I didn't take out my book because there were so many people there. I just didn't want to, like, lollygag and hang out with my, my book open, uh, marking things off, and I need space for that. I need room to uh, appropriately go through my back issues, but I had to, uh, had to compromise and act quickly and discreetly. Uh, yeah, it was, it was packed in there, and this, the store wasn't really, like, made for like that many people um the other place I, I tried to go to another place that's nearby uh million year picnic but they were even they even were even worse off with like space and the amount of people that were in there um so that's all right uh, i think i i got more than enough books here uh all amazing prices you know nothing like nothing like uh that'll make you draw drop but um although i still think that bucket cap for experience is crazy undervalued. I mean, that is just, that blows my mind. But anyway, guys, uh, that's all I got. Oh, actually, I do have one more thing. Uh, so I got this off of eBay. Um, this was $21. I, yeah, it's a boxed version. If you like video games, it's a boxed version of the Spider-Man Game Boy game, complete with, like, instructions and all that good stuff. Um, I, don't really collect, I collect some games, some superhero games, uh, I still want to do more videos with, with superhero games when I get a chance. Uh, that one was particularly nostalgic for me because it was like, that came out, I got that when it came out and that was like, one of like, three Spider-Man games at the time, I think maybe even less, I think it might have been like two, two that were like, accessible on like, you know, uh, uh, uh popular consoles. I'm, I'm talking about like, I played the Atari one and this one, and then I think maybe in the same year or like a year later, the, the NES Revenge of the Sinister Six came out. 
but this was like the one I remember the most because it was actually it was actually not bad. Um, and maybe even, I think the Genesis one came out like the year after as well, but there wasn't too many at the time. Is, is the point? They weren't all great. Uh, so this was like my favorite one at the time because it, it's all I had. You know, it was like I need to get my I need to pretend I'm Spider Man. So I tried to, I, that was that was my thing. It wasn't wasn't the best, but um, it did the job back then. So it was, I was glad to find that. I thought box games, even Game Boy games, went for more, but it was like twenty one bucks. So jumped on that, picked it up. End of story. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. I do have some more my comic shop books coming in, just like three before. So I'll probably save those for another haul later down the line. And that's about it. So, uh, yeah, have a great weekend. Go see Civil War. See ya.